Now, I told y'all this. I told y'all this. And I'm not even talking to the people that I might have said this and you all like, hmm, it could be possible. I told y'all this. People that told me, no, Daniel's got the contract till 2023. He'll be there. Listen, people, contracts are paper. Binding agreements that we've seen plenty of times been broken, severed, basically because one party is not happy with the other or things just go awry. And at this point, things went awry. Everybody has their different reporting style. Everybody has their different style of journalism. I have mine. You have yours. I'm not the one for all the we going to recycle, 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 read article, read article, show a bunch of video. Listen, I'm going to tell you just like this shit is. It's as simple as this. Daniel Ricardo has not been who Daniel was since he left Red Bull. He got with Renault, got the bag, 50 plus million or something like that. Got it, right? Things didn't go that great with Renault. Okay, he two year boom. He didn't even stay finished the project. Daniel would it, like people act like when Daniel came out with this post about McLaren, about he was staying and he was committed. I'm not saying Daniel's a bad guy. I'm just saying Daniel has done this before when he was supposed to be with Renault finishing this project. They got something good going. We're, we're making, we're making progress and I'm going to be part of this and blah, blah. They welcomed by the whole manufacturing and factory was there. All of that. He left Renault, got with McLaren. All right. Got with McLaren, and right now McLaren has been unhappy with Daniel's performance. Point blank, period. Daniel has not performed to the point that McLaren thought they had in him. He has not done that. They even gave Daniel a podium, and Lando didn't care for it either. He was like, I'm fighting for points. Lando wanted to take it up front. They was like, no, let Daniel get it. Trying to give him a little bump, you know, give him a little bump in, in like confidence. It hasn't worked. We've seen Daniel struggling. We were watching Drive to Survive. You know, he's going, listen, Daniel has been on a decline. And I'm not saying his career is over, but I am saying he is not what McLaren thought they had. He is who, he's not who they thought he was. All right. The reverse of what the Cardinals coach said. Okay. So all of this movement in this fashion right now has been transpired and bumped up by not Alonzo, but by the retirement of Sebastian Vettel. If Vettel does not retire, Alonzo likely gets his additional year deal with Alpine. And he likely decides to agree with Alpine's uh, circumstances with, if he performs to said level, they will give him another dear deal while holding Oscar Piastri off another year or two while they hold him out to Williams for this duration while Alonzo's living his life out with Alpine, but that doesn't happen. Sebastian Vettel decides I'm done with Formula One. I'm done with the dog and pony show. I'm done with all the BS. I'm ready to start another chapter in my life. I'm out of here. He dips. Alonzo decides to get off like a thief in the night with Alpine's feelings in his back pocket. Doesn't tell him anything. Things come out for them on social media. They then are scorned and hurt because the prom date they thought they had, they don't have. And the prom date they should have been courting is like, oh no, you went to the movies and dinner with that guy and Oscar's like oh no nah. Alpine hey Oscar we want you you got to see Oscar like nah I'm good I'm going to McLaren okay I'm going to McLaren McLaren been talking to Daniel like yo bro this ain't really working how we thought it was we about to be looking for other options we not gonna shit on you we're going, you know, we're going to help you. McLaren has class when they handle things they have class when they they're going to help Daniel or facilitate a move Alpine leave Oscar alone man Work this out. Why you think Alpine? They haven't even really been saying nothing, right? Because I bet right now they stuck in a position where they're like, oh, do we take this to court, buying all this up, you know, make it look messy, or do we kind of work something out with McLaren, get Daniel back for another season, we can figure it out, you know, get a little compensation for Oscar. Oscar gets to go to McLaren. I'm telling you. I I, I don't I don't listen. I I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I'm just saying that's the best thing I think to happen. Alpine, take Ricardo back. Release Oscar to McLaren. You only have a season with Daniel. It's not like you can't find something to do in that time, and you never know. Daniel might wake up 
with a change, another change of environment, but maybe under different situations and circumstances. Him and Lando really didn't kick it off that great to begin with anyway, but they worked it in because Lando is who he is, and Daniel's a pretty good guy. He's got a nice character, does the shoeies. I can't get down with that. But maybe with Oscar... And uh, Lando, that works better, but maybe not, right? Maybe you still have confrontation because Oscar seems like the type of dude that ain't no shits and giggles uh, when he wants his way. And Lando definitely comes across that way. So I don't know what the chemistry may be with, but hopefully it's good for McLaren because I've been looking for them to come up in the ranks. I'm a little disappointed this season that they haven't. So if that works for them, I'm good with it. As far as Alpine, Alpine definitely has making some incremental progress, I believe. I don't think a Alonzo was putting them way out in anything. Ocon's been outperforming Alonzo, regardless of what you want to say. Look at the finishes. Ocon's finished ahead of Alonzo more than Alonzo has finished ahead of Ocon, even with DNFs or no Canuck please. I mean, I'm just saying this. Alonzo's not all that. So he's going to go to Aston, okay? And Aston definitely hasn't been doing much of anything. But uh, he'll go there, all right, with Stroll. And I believe in the next season or two, uh, Aston will wake up and say, you know what? This driver pairing is really not working. Maybe we get in the car together. Maybe we're not, but uh, we need a change of scenery. And the next thing you know, Alonso will be bouncing. They ain't, they ain't no telling, okay? There's a lot of new blood coming up that I think teams should be looking into giving the opportunities and little shifts here and there. So we'll see. But I'm, I'm really just saying Alpine, really consider it, okay? Free Oscar. Let him go. Sometimes you got to let it go. Bring Daniel in. Let Oscar go. Move on with your season. That's probably the best thing to do for all parties. Work out the money here and there. That's what I got to say. But uh, I wish Daniel the best. Um, I never, I never want to see anybody's career come to an end because that's what they love to do. That's their passion. That's what they, they love down there making money in it. And I think it's quite addictive, right? So I'm hoping that his career can get back on track at some point with a, with a team, if not, maybe it's time for his career to take to other areas. Maybe. It, it happens to everybody, even in regular life. Like, people retire and they go do something else. Like, maybe that's what he do. I'm not saying retire, but maybe he does something else. Um, Oscar is, like, new and ready to go. He TTG right now, so he's just... It's up. We we just we're just waiting to see Oscar ceiling. All right. That's what we're waiting to see. If Oscar's gonna be all of what this fuss is about, is he gonna get with McLaren and really do something, something? Okay, that's what we're gonna wait to see about that. Cause I'm I'm betting that if Oscar does do something, something, there's gonna be some tick for tack in there when it comes to team orders. Believe that. All right, so, hey, you know we're going to be live this weekend for Finale Lap. You know we're going to be live Saturday for the Quality Kickback Watch Along, so be there for that. Uh, just had an awesome, amazing episode with Emma Gilmore from the XE Racing Series in the MX of McLaren, first lady driver in McLaren system. Big shout out to her. And we will be looking and having other guests here at the channel. But be here for the live event. We got the champagne on deck in case we pop a podium. and. VIP boxes still being earned. Yes, they are. So I'm out. Just build it. Peace. Thanks for watching another episode of Wolfpack Performance. Don't forget to check out some of my other content on Formula One and motorsports topics. Like, share, subscribe, and we go live on the weekends. See you soon.